<coughs> Hi, my name is Steve Brandt, and I'm here to read a letter from someone who also couldn't be here. Uh, but I also want to acknowledge uh, Claire Crawford Mason for introducing me formally to Russ at his 80th birthday party in Villanova, and uh, that started me on a personal journey of getting to be uh, uh, much more aware of what's possible when people think systemically. And um, this letter is from another uh, a global citizen who uh, was influenced, and uh, this is Bo Ekman of the Talberg Foundation in Sweden. Uh, so we may know the Talberg uh, workshop every year. The forum. My contribution at the memorial service, Russell L. Aikoff, first citizen of Fredonia. <laughs> My relationship to Russ has been one of continuous liberation. His thinking and way of educating me to think has forced a never-ending process of freeing myself from my baggage of unclarity, that precious moment when you get a glimpse of truth. In order to stay with truth, you needed to talk to and read Russ again and again, to take yourself out of the tempting concessions to pragmatism, that is, to stay bonded to the conventional wisdoms that constitute the modus operandi of any establishment, academic, political, social, or economic. Russ forced me gently to become true to myself and more honest in the face of the real problems to be solved, be it the design of a motor car or of a transport system, a social community, or even a global governance. Russ taught me and us that the pursuit of integrity is a never an everlasting, never-ending process. Achieving truth is achieving freedom. Russ gave me the courage to understand that truth, more important than social bonding. He gave me the courage to again and again venture out into the mess, not staying in the comfort <coughs> of the structures and the <coughs> Russ is the leader who walked in the first row and gave the example. He broke his faculty out of the confinement of the university bureaucracy. He taught us how to adopt a highway. Russ was a great humorist. He inspired me from my early academic years on. He gave me invaluable gifts, belief in myself, understanding of systems thinking, and the power of conversation. The spirit permeated, permeates since 30 years the Talbert Foundation which he came when circumstances allowed. He was also the first recipient of its leadership award for principle of pragmatism. Russell Aikoff, the great man. His spirit will change the world. He taught me that achieving truth is achieving freedom. He is a citizen of Fredonia. Signed, Bo Ekman, Albert Foundation. Yeah, I have to remark that when Russ would do his idealized science workshop, he always wanted people to imagine that the world that came out of had been blown up. So he could start with a clean sheet of paper. And the timing of this, coming after this monumental snowstorm, <laughs> shut down Washington, D.C. I only wish that they could have seen that as the destruction of what exists. <laughs> 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 I feel like I'm about to send that message. <laughs> 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 <laughs>